Hi guys, this current challenge is called functions in C++. So this is a beginner coding challenge and it's under the introduction section for the C++ collection. So they give us an example of how we can use a function in C++, what is the return type, parameters and all that. The logic is pretty straightforward and you've seen me use functions many times on this channel. And this is because I actually recorded that video before, but I decided to redo it because the audio quality was just not good enough. If you want to have an idea of how to use functions in C++, there are three main things that you should understand. The first thing is the return type. So what I'm highlighting here is int, meaning that this function here, what I'm highlighting, is going to return an integer because an int corresponds to an integer. Next, we have sum of four with underscores. All that is the function's name. And then we have parentheses. And in between the parentheses, we have four parameters. So the parameters are A, B, C, and D. But you need to specify the data type for all the parameters. So all of them are ints. Therefore, you have ints A, ints B, in C and then in D. And then between these curly braces, you have the actual definition or the implementation for that function. So that function, as the name implies, is supposed to return the sum of four integers. And in the implementation, they have a sum int variable, which starts at zero. And then they just add up A, B, C, and D together. And they store the results in sum. And when they are done, they return sum which is valid because sum is an integer, an int. So in this hacker rank challenge, what we need to do is to write a function called max of four. It's supposed to return an integer and it should support four parameters. So all of them are going to be int parameters and we are supposed to return the largest integer among all of them. So this is what you can see if you look through the contents of their main section. They have four integers. They are not initialized yet. Then they use scanf, which is a function in C to get inputs and they store four integers into A, B, C, and D. Then they create an integer variable that they call ants for answer, and it's equal to whatever that function returns, max of four. And max of four is going to take A, B, C, and D as arguments. And whatever that function return, when it's stored into the ants variable, is going to be printed on the screen via the printf function in C. Anyway, what we need to do now is to write a function called max of four and it takes four int parameters. So that's what we're going to do. First, I write int, which is the return type. Then I have max of four. And then in between parentheses, I have int a, int b, that's my second parameter, then int c, and then int d. And then I have curly braces, and we have to write the logic for the largest integer to be returned. If you follow that along, it should be clear to you that this is a sorting problem. We need to sort the numbers and return the largest of them. So for that, I can make use of a function from the STD library in C++, and that function is called sorts, and it's under the algorithm header. So if I want to use the algorithm header, I can go at the top and write include algorithm, just like that. And now it means that I'll be able to use the sort function. But before I do that, I want to gather all of these integers into an array, and I want to sort that array and then return the last element of the array. The reason why I want to return the last element is because the array is going to be sorted in ascending order. So the largest value is going to be at the end. So let's do that now. I'm going to have an array of int type because it's going to store only integers. And I'm going to call that array, array. So now these are stored in an array called array. And it's an int array. I've written array here, and this is the name of my array. It points to the first elements inside the array. So I need to pass that to my sort function. And then I want to sort all the way until the end. So I have for my next arguments, array plus four. The reason why I have plus four is because I want to jump four int spaces in memory to go to the last element inside my array. And I want to sort my array in four from the first element to the last elements. Now that my array is sorted, I can simply have return array three like this and arrays are zero base. That's why I have three and not four. So that's it for the code. Let me now run this program and we should be able to pass all the test cases. So we only have a single one, which is sample test case zero and we get the same results as they do. So I'm going to submit it. And we just pass all the test cases. So it was fairly simple. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section and I will try to respond to you as soon as I can. In the meantime, please subscribe, turn on your notifications, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.